Is this Atlantis, a massive submerged landmass found on Google Earth in the area of the Azores, just west of uh, West Africa and Spain and the uh, area of Gibraltar? A few days ago, I posted a video on a, um, an Algerian uh, Tuareg legend that an Atlantean queen or princess survived the sinking of the continent of Atlantis she was beautiful, tall, blonde, and uh, she went to Algiers and founded that area there. And that's their legend, that one of the Atlantean survivors was royalty elite of Atlantis, and she went and fled for safety, ended up in Algiers. That's a Tuareg legend. So what about this, this grid system found in Google Earth? Is this Atlantis? The massive submerged landmass found on Google Earth in the Azores. Explorers of all types and levels dedicated years to try to locate the legendary metropolis, which was found first written by Greeks, philosopher Plato around 400 BC. So he claimed it was in the middle of the Atlantic. And just a brief for you as to what he wrote. It was in the middle of the Atlantic. It was just uh, outside of the uh, Gates of Gibraltar, which is, of course, uh, Gates of Hercules, which is Gibraltar, at the mouth of the Mediterranean in the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, Europeans used to go to Atlantis and then go west towards what we believe to be the New World of the Americas. Now, is that also a reason for finding uh, pyramids and mounds and various ancient artifacts with even Egyptian hieroglyphs an ancient Greek uh, DNA in the Native Americans of the Great Lakes region in the area of North America and South America. So uh, it could it is said that the site once existed existed at the uh, ruling seat of the world until a natural disaster sank the entire island, taking all with it into the sea. Well, not all. Some did escape. Now, now there are claims that the mythical lost city of Atlantis had been found using Google Maps. Express UK notes, thanks to the internet, satellite images, and Google Map systems, armchair investigators can join in the hunt from the comfort of their own homes, and footage uploaded to YouTube has been said to show the outline of an ancient settlement in the middle of the ocean. The satellite image taken above an area known as the Madeira Abyssal Plain off the coast of Morocco appears to show a, sh a square shape filled with perfectly straight lines inside. Obviously, this can't be geological. Uh, that's my belief. Now, which some claim could be the outline and foundations of a mythical, the mythical city. Paranormal investigator Blake Cousins claims to have gone one better and now claims Atlantis could be a few hundred miles northwest of that near the Azores. He claims to have discovered that the Azores Island range is sitting on a huge landmass in the ocean that he believes could be the sunken continent described by Plato, according to Daily Star reports. And you, using Google Earth, Mr. Cousins measured this to be 413 miles wide, which he claims was similar to the size Plato describes. And then he looked over the islands themselves and discovered a number of circular lakes and mountain ranges. He said, in my opinion, the Google Earth evidence is quite clear and astonishing. These rings within rings within rings is exactly how Plato described the whole geography is about as wide as Plato describes, he says. Some viewers believe there should be a full-on investigation with dives at the site to see what there is there. Others were less convinced, saying that Plato described Atlantis as being circular, not square. It's not the first undersea discovery that has had myth hunters and conspiracy theorists excited. The Baltic Sea anomaly, you'll see the video just before this one, is an odd-shaped undersea feature that some have speculated could be even a crashed UFO. These are their claims, uh, that it was uh, made of uh, metal not produced on Earth. Anyway, no dive team has yet, uh, has yet seemed to have established that it is anything other than an old, odd rock formation. We're talking about the Baltic Sea anomaly. So this is on Express UK. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my 
Patreon account, the daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.